Hello everyone, Kevin Gurkley here from Tech Formality, the blog that focuses on tech guides, tech news, and tech reviews. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Dark Side ransomware. Uh, now, this is the attack that got the Colonial Pipeline um, in some trouble with uh, encrypted files. Um, the um, attackers requested that they pay $30 million. If they didn't pay the $30 million whenever the time counter ended, they were then prompted to pay $60 million. Um, there is actually an article I will pull up here in just a minute that we will discuss uh, on some of the topics that they discussed over chat with the company itself. And uh, we will get into some things here and see actually what this ransomware is capable of. So stick with me here for just a minute here and we will go ahead and get started. All right, and before we get started, I just want to let you know that both um, my partner and I, Alex, um, he is also on my feature channel list, so go ahead and check him out. We have developed a Discord server together, so I will go ahead and post a link in my description of this video. Uh, so go ahead and check out the Discord server where you can get tips and tricks on how to remove malware from your computers, and also some uh, content that's not available uh, on YouTube that we will be posting on there as well. So uh, just keep that in mind, and I will post that link there. Uh, so with that being said, I wanted to go ahead and get into making this video because I actually searched on YouTube and haven't found really anything about it with the exception of Centennial One that released a video um, following the attack of the Colonial Pipeline incident. Um, so I actually pulled up this um, article here that somebody had wrote, um, Curb on, uh, Curbs and Security, it looks like, wrote this article, uh, basically just explaining about the attack and all the incidents. So basically, this is Colonial Pipeline. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen it or not on the news, but this is some kind of big headline that there is now a gas shortage because of this ransomware attack. So it is causing some havoc um, over here in America. I'm not sure if in your foreign countries if you've heard of anything like that. But uh, So we'll basically just get into some things here. Uh, the first thing is this is the actual letter that they had sent to uh, Colonial Pipeline uh, from the attack start of things so you can see here that um, they have a new product on the market they have experience they've actually partnered with um, well-known crypto locker companies as well uh, they created dark side because they couldn't find the product for us so they have it they say and based on their principles we will not attack the following targets so they're actually defining who they will and who they will not attack so for example um, medicines such as hospitals um, palliative care organizations, nursing homes, companies that develop and participate to a large extent in the distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine, funeral services, morgues, crematories, funeral homes, education, schools, universities, nonprofit organizations, government sectors. So they will not touch any of these organizations as they state here. Um, we only attack companies that can pay the requested amount. We do not want to kill, kill your business. Uh, before any attack, we carefully analyze your accountancy and determine how much you can pay based on your net income. Uh, you can ask all the questions and chat before paying and our support will answer them. So as we can see below, you will uh, see some support chat from the company and the uh, attackers themselves. Um, this is what they guarantee. So they will provide you with one test file to decrypt. Um, they will provide you decryptors after payment um, as well as the support in case of problems. So. Something about this ransomware that I found interesting is they actually take all of your files um, your, from their TOR uh, CDNs. Uh, they actually upload everything, all your files to their database. Um, and pretty much they create a copy of everything and have it all stored in their database. They're saying if you pay the ransom, they will not upload this data and distribute it. However, if you fail to pay the ransom, they will publish your data for at least six months. Um, they'll send you notification. They'll send a notification to the media and partners and customers, and they will also never provide you with any decryptors. Uh, so they are basically telling you that if you do not pay their ransom, they're going to send your files out and about, and they're going to be available to anyone. And um, pretty much that's what they're saying. So they want you to pay that ransom. Uh, so no matter what, um, the, if you actually look below here, this is what I was stating that. They are requested to pay $30 million now or $60 million after doubled. So after this time runs out, they are requesting that um, they have $60 million available to them. 
And as you can see down here below, here are the chat logs between the company and um, the attackers. So how do I know you can decrypt our data? We can decrypt one sample file for, file for you. Um, so basically they're just going back and forth asking questions. Um, then the company actually came across and ask if they can pay $2.25 million for the decryption tool. Um, this company came back with some long, um, you know, long explanation on why that's not valid. Um, so they were requesting the $28 million for the decryption. Um, and you can see back and forth, uh, the company uh, Colonial states that they don't have that much time and they need more time to get the money together. And this guy said that he doesn't think so, you aren't poor, uh, etc. And then basically it goes into um, using the authority only to pay $4.75 million. So they actually ended up spending, let's see here. So they're going to send about $12 million to this $12 million to this company to get their data rebuilt or unencrypted and back to them. So there is a lot of money on stake for the company here, as you can see. Um, and it's a little funny to me that this uh, company states that they are not trying to harm individuals or affect society. However, there's not really a one organization or company that you cannot encrypt, you can encrypt that won't affect somebody in somehow. So um, it's a little strange to me that they're stating that they're not going to be affecting anybody in society. Uh, then I know that they also re released a statement that stated they apologize for this and uh, they'll further investigate their future tax to prevent anything uh, such as this big ordeal from happening again in the future. Um, so and all in all, it's a uh, big disaster that's going on over here in America. I know that there are gas stations. There's cars lined up. There's shortages of gas in certain stations. So it is definitely some kind of big deal that's going on. So I did download a sample of this malware. Um, I do have two variations of it. This one that I just downloaded was actually uploaded five hours ago. And just taking a look here, we can see that a majority of the antiviruses have already blocked it. Um, and if you go to the community here, some... Uh, threat analyst people are actually posting on here what antiviruses need to do to stop it. Uh, so that could be why that the detection rate is now so high. Uh, however, there are still quite a few. Um, Viper, for example, Super Anti Spyware, Trend Micro, Panda, F Secure, Komodo. These are all well-known antiviruses that do not have anything. Uh, some of the bigger ones that do. Um, Centennial One, I know that they did release a video stating that their application can block this. Um, dark side ransomware and if you look up here we can see that AVG, Avast um, are some of the big ones, Mod32, Malwarebytes, Sophos, Symantec. So there are quite a few that have now blocked this. Um, now as far as the threat goes I'm not quite sure. I haven't really discovered yet how the attack happened. I couldn't really find anything on it. Um, if I had to guess, the file was probably sent as an attachment in an email, and the email was opened by a user, um, and then the ransomware just spread throughout their system from there. Um, so that's why it's really important if you do work as an IT professional in an organization to always make sure that your permissions are set properly, and your file shares need to be restricted to only those who need access, um, and basically just make sure your file permissions are tied down Always make sure you have an antivirus. Always make sure you have the latest Windows updates. Um, those are the key items to make sure of. Um, I know that uh, file shares are definitely a big one. As uh, ransomware spreads, it can spread like wildfire if your permissions are not set proper on file shares. Um, if you have a server that's set up for your file server, and for whatever reason, if all users have access to every folder on that file server, once they launch that and they have permission on their account, all those files will then become encrypted. So that's definitely a big portion of some of these attacks, how they spread so uh, rapidly. So, um, and the funny thing is the company actually told the Colonial Pipeline that they will send them how they got into their system and how they infected everything. So there are, you know, they are going to work with them on that, but still it's, it's just a terrible thing to go through. Um, 
having to do with all the decryption and whatnot. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and run one of these to see what happens. Um, we're just going to run it with um, administrator privileges. We do not have any um, software on the computer. And as you can see, immediately we are now encrypted. If we take a look here in our processes, we will see what's going on. I know that I read somewhere where TeamViewer is actually installed at some point to provide them access to all their um, computers. So as you can see here, your computers and servers are now encrypted, backups are deleted. We use strong encryption algorithms so that you cannot detect your, or decrypt your data, but you can restore everything by purchasing, purchasing a special program from us, Universal Decryptor. Program will restore all of your network, follow the instructions below and recover all of your data. And then here we see data leak. First of all, we have uploaded more than 100 gigabytes of data. So they're stating that they uploaded all the data that was on my computer and have put it into their um, file shield. I'm not sure if something didn't run right or we didn't get the full um, application to run yet. But we do not have a timer or any kind of countdown that was provided as well. Um, basically, this is our data leak page. So if we just go to this website, we will see see that's actually not working so I'm not sure why that's not loading but your data is preloaded and automatically published if you do not pay after publication your data will be available at least six months to our tour CDN servers we are ready to provide the evidence of stolen data to give you a universal decrypting tool for all encrypted files to delete all stolen data and basically this is everything that we had already read um, using a tour browser it's telling you how to pay if you wish to pay um, here's your key so basically, this is uh, a deemed useless computer. Um, as you can see, my um, zip file that I had here is now in a different format. So we're going to go ahead and restart the computer really quick, and we will see what happens. So we'll be back here in just a second. Okay, so I did go ahead and run this other EXE that I have for the dark side. Um, it's actually disappeared now since I ran it, um, but it did actually encrypt. And I believe these are the screenshots that were showed um, for the colonial tax. So this is definitely the ransomware that they have uh, had installed on their system. So as you can see here, basically our system is use, uh, useless. Um, if you go into the readme file here, um, this was the other one that was opened. So it's basically telling you the same information here, what had happened, what it guarantees. Um, and then it's telling me to go to this website. Um, it's telling me that I need to open it in the Tor browser though. So let's see if we can't get this Tor browser really quick just to see if we can't open this link. Um, go ahead and just do this really quickly just so we can see what's going on. Um, I don't know if TeamViewer actually got installed like I was reading. Um, let's see. Yeah, TeamViewer is not on the computer as of right now. So let's just go ahead and run this installation and we'll try to access this website. So we're going to go ahead and copy this URL and after this installs we will go ahead and try launching and see if we can get into this website. Connect. So I'm not sure, I'm, I'm guessing that the website that they're providing is no longer working. Um, I don't know if that's part of this attack that had happened where either the government or somebody actually took them down, um, but it will not load. Um, usually it just loads the screen though that shows um, basically the information that I had already explained to you that the other attackers have received, um, stating that you owe them this much money and here's how you pay. So basically it's just instructions and it would have a countdown timer. Um, so with that being said, as I stated previously, just make sure if you do have a, an organization um, for ransomware, the first things first is to inform and always educate your employees to always be careful on the web 
and in the email side of things. Um, I can't tell you how many times that in my organization there's been emails that were sent to individual employees that, um, good thing they didn't click on it, but they were ready to click on the link or the attachment and immediately files would have been encrypted. Um, out of all the times, I've only had one experience where somebody did click on an attachment, but we were, we were able to remediate really quickly. Um, we removed the computer from the network and prevented any additional damage from happening. So as, as soon as you discover a ransomware attack, ensure to disconnect that computer um, and quarantine it from the network so that it cannot spread anything else. Always make sure your file permissions are set properly. As I stated, if you run that file from an administrator account, you're pretty much in trouble if you have not set your permissions up properly. Um, so you have to ensure that your permissions are set properly so that when a file is launched or a ransomware attack is launched, it can only access the computer and the file shares that you provide it. So if it's gonna access a server with a database, your users should not have access to that database uh, throughout the network. So it should be, you know, pretty much set the permissions that they need and basically disable everything else for all file shares. And then the final uh, recommendation is to ensure that antivirus is installed. Always ensure to um, make sure it's updated, you know, get the latest definitions, the latest version of that. And then finally, Windows updates are also important. Um, ensure to get the latest versions of, uh, you know, Microsoft, uh, their Windows updates and, and whatnot. Um, I actually, on my Windows 10 test machine, I actually loaded this um, EXE onto it and Windows Defender was removing it um, prior to me even doing anything. So Microsoft does keep things up to date. So even if you do have a Microsoft Defender protection only, um, you will basically still be okay uh, in some aspect, but it is important to have another antivirus installed as well. Um, I still don't see any TeamViewer installed on here, so it looks like as of right now we're just encrypted. However, I'm sure there are, um, let's see if there's any services really quick, just while we're still looking at it. There is, I don't see any TeamViewer app applications, but I do see a um, trusted installer.exe, so it could be installing some things in the background that we don't know about. Um, I'm not sure what this .NET is. So this is something in the Microsoft framework that might be legitimate, I'm not sure. So who knows what's going on in the background, but it is definitely troublesome for especially Colonial uh, pipelines as they found out the hard way. Um, so just take my advice and, and be sure to always ensure that those items that I had mentioned are um, implemented into your networks. Hopefully this video helped you out and hopefully it gave you a little insight of what this ransomware is capable of. And I appreciate you watching and hope you guys have a good one. Please do comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. It does help me out. And I appreciate your, all of your support that you've been providing to me over the past few years. Until next time, we will see you guys then. Thank you. Mm -hmm.